Hello everyone and welcome back to the Crease Hockey. In today's video, we will be taking a look at my ranking for the top 5 Montreal Canadiens goalie masks of this year. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any new photos of masks for Michael McNiven, Charlie Lindgren, or Montreal Canadiens masks for Caden Primo. But with the rest of the photos that I have found, I've put them in a list and hopefully you guys will like my ranking. And let's just jump in. David Gunnarsson, or Dave Art, has designed some amazing masks, and the masks in this video are no exception. At number 5 is Carey Price's Reverse Retro Mask. This mask isn't that bad, it just has a lot, a lot of red. I think that if they added a little bit more blue and a little bit more white, it would have been a lot better. I can see why a lot of people like this mask. It's not my favorite personally, though. I think Carey Price has had a lot of better masks in the past. And it is nice to see a little bit of something new because most of his previous masks have followed the same basic template, but I think this is still not the nicest mask out there. Next, we have another Carey Price mask. Most people call it the Cyborg mask. And this mask comes from a guy named Jordan from JBO Airbrush or JBO Airbrush, not exactly sure. This mask isn't the nicest mask out there, but the amount of detail in this mask is absolutely crazy. You start off with smaller details like how it says 31 and price down by the chin. But then when you make your way around the mask, you'll see that there are so many smaller details that may go unnoticed, but you can tell that they worked really hard in putting this mask together. For example, in one of the eyes, it says Habs or Habitant. Archival blocking system and it has a little picture of Richard in the eye So that's a good tribute to him Another cool thing is that on the side of the mask it shows a little circuit board that Pays tribute to a bunch of former Montreal Canadiens goalies including Patrick Waugh, Ken Dryden Vesna and Plant Under that is the PSI or percentage saved indicator and also there's a little strap that kind of connects to that circuit board that features in many of the years, or a few of the years that the Montreal Canadiens have won the cup. Another very interesting but subtle detail is that on the back of the mask, it shows the maple leaf that was used on one of their original jerseys. You may recognize it from the barber pole jersey. And around that it says made in Canada. So that's a very cool touch. Cool mask, not the nicest, but definitely has too much detail to put it any lower. So on to the next one. This one's designed by Dave Art. It's a, the mask for the Silly Demchenko. This mask is very busy, so if you don't like it, I can totally see why. But for me, the more I look at it, the more I like it. It has a bunch of stacked Habs logos, as well as the big fleur-de-lis at the top and the Vasia nickname uh, on the chin. Another, another thing that many of the Dave Art masks have is a, uh, a lot of small versions of the primary logo of the team. So if you look really closely at the top of the mask in the white areas, there's the very subtle small Montreal Canadiens logos, and I think that is a great touch. Moving on to number two, we have Jake Allen. So. His nickname is Jake the Snake, so it's fitting that there's a little bit of snake skin. It's hard to notice, but there's a bit of a snake skin texture all around the mask, as well as Montreal Canadiens logo is really small. But I think what's really nice about this mask is that it also has a subtle tribute to, um, to his home province of New Brunswick with the boat at the bottom. It also has really nice implementations with the Habs logos on the side, only big gripe with this mask for me is that there's a really big white space on top of the H at the top and it doesn't really match the space at the bottom. That was easily fixed in number one. Number one is another version of the Jake Allen mask, but this mask is a lot cleaner, a lot simpler, and a lot nicer for me. The implementations of the Habs logos on the side, I think look really good, it's very sharp, they filled that extra space at the top by adding an extra square. There's also a fleur-de-lis in there on both sides, which is 
really nice to see because the Montreal Canadiens play in Quebec and they still kept the tribute to New Brunswick with the boat on the bottom of the mast. All that said, I would like to give a few honorable mentions. The Montreal Canadiens hosted a little bit of a, not, not exactly a contest, but they did want to sh uh, show off a lot of fans' designs on Instagram of possible Carey Price masks before his original mask was revealed. So here are a few. There's one of them that I really liked, which is just a bunch of his own face on the helmet. And another one was actually designed by his daughter and it's it, she turned him into a unicorn. So I thought that was pretty funny. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave in the comments below what you think about this ranking as well as what you had in your own. Also, I would like to turn this into a series, so if you have any suggestions of what teams I should do next, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See ya.